All right. We are going to read A Color of His Own. That's the title of the story, and the author is Leo Leone. Leo Leone is also the illustrator. Do you remember what an illustrator is? They draw the pictures, and then the author writes the words for the story. What do you think this book will be about? Yeah. A chameleon? Yeah. Parrots are green. Goldfish are red. 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 Elephants are red. And pigs are blue. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons. chameleons. What do chameleons do? Um, change colors. Yeah, they change colors. They change color where they go. So that's a defense mechanism. So the reason why they change colors is so that they can blend in. And then if there's a predator, the predator can't find them. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped just like tigers. How do you think that makes the chameleon feel? Mm -hmm. Stripey. You think it makes him feel stripey? Do you think he feels sad or happy about changing colors? Happy. You think he likes getting changed? Let's find out what happens. One day, a chameleon was sitting on a tiger's tail, and he said to himself, If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever, and so I too will have a color of my own. That kind of sounds to me like he's not too happy about color changing. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. What do you think will happen next? Maybe I will change. You think it'll change colors? Yeah. But in the autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. Look at he was so happy, and his smiley face turned into a frown. What do you think it makes him feel? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because he, he got onto a leaf. Yeah, he got onto the leaf thinking that it would be green forever, and then it changed color. Right now, our leaves outside are starting to come back because it's springtime, and the leaves will be green, but during autumn, they change colors. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon turned red, too. He still has a frown. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. So it went from autumn, which is fall, to winter. Winter is where we get a lot of snow, and it's cold out. It's so sad. But when spring came, that's the season that we're in right now, he walked out into the green grass, and there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Will we ever have a color of our own, he asked. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. He's starting to change to this color. What color is this? Green. green. Why is he starting to change into green? Because um, they were best friends. They are, but why do you, what's making him change to green? The grass. The grass is green, so it's making him change to green. And so they remained side by side. They were green together. He's smiling. Why do you think he's smiling now? Because I'm the best friend. Yeah, because they have each other. He's not so lonely anymore. And purple. And yellow. And red with white polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. The end.
me. And did you enjoy that story? Yeah. What did you like most about this book? Um, can be thinking how I would be best friend. Yeah, they found each other. He wasn't very happy in the beginning because he noticed that owlfish don't change colors, parrots don't change colors, elephants don't change colors, pigs don't change colors, but chameleons do. But as long as he's changing colors with his friend and they're together, he will be okay. And great.